YouTube and welcome to this episode of the Gunman Raw. So today we're going to be doing a pretty small job here. It's a little Citroen C4, pretty straightforward job, just for two doors. So I came in for like a little repair. Um, you can barely even see it now because I've used shaded primer there. Um, but I think it was a result of a attempted PDR. There must have been a dent there. They tried pushing it up using PDR technology. It didn't quite make it. Um, so that's when we come in and save the day. I'm gonna put, so obviously for whatever reason, I mean, I don't even, I don't even ask these days like, oh, why didn't you take that off? Like, I, for whatever reason, the, the lower molding is staying on. I don't mind. It really doesn't bother me. Um, <laughs> I, I get. I was actually just thinking when I was gonna make this video, I was thinking I'm oh, gonna tell the story of myself getting into a big argument with one of the panel beaters about not taking a door off because it's like back then it was kind of to prove a bit of a point. You know what I mean? Because look, they would do a repair on a quarter panel, um, and then there was no repair on the inside of the door jam, right? So. What they do is they're, they're sloppy with their body filler. They get body filler on the inside of the door jam and then to get it off, instead of just picking it off with your fingernail, they'll get a bit of 80 grit and scratch inside the door jam. And you know, like, you know there was no need for that to happen, right? And then when you say, man, look, I need that door taken off so that I can paint it all at the same time. And at that point, like, we were under the pump. Um, it was a small shop, but they did a relatively high volume of work. Um, and we had one spray booth and we had the water paint and it was middle of winter and it was cold and you couldn't really spray that stuff in the, the workshop with good results. So, um, yeah, like I'm just like, dude, can you take the door off? You're like, no, I don't know how to take it off. It can't come off. And it was, it was like one of the old 1990s, um, like I think it was an E280 Mercedes Benz or something. And I'm like, dude, they come off easy. Um, I'm like, look, you got... Because those, I know them pretty well, because you guys know I'm a bit of a fan of my Mercedes-Benz. Um, all you have to do on them, they've just got two pins and a plug. The plug's inside on the door, um, and sorry, inside of the pillar on the body of the car. Um, and you've got your two pins and that's it. Maybe take your door trim off, just pop that off quickly so that when you put it on your stand, you're not going to damage it. Um, but literally, I've, I had a fight with him about it. And he goes off stomping and like, you know, in a real big hissy fit about it. And I'm like, mate, I'll do it my bloody self then. Cause even in my own time, it's gonna be quicker for me to take it off than it is to go like paint inside the door jam separately. Um, but yeah, the end, end, end result was it came off in 10 minutes and the job was done quicker. But yeah, I don't know. It's like, I don't even know what, why I, the point in telling that story is, but I guess I guess I wouldn't be like that anymore. Like I wouldn't get so worked up about taking parts off. Like I had this guy leave a comment on one of my videos lately and it was funny. I think it was on TikTok or something stupid like that. Um, and he's like, I would never, I would flatly refuse to mask a door swinging. I think I did like, a, uh, I think it was the Lexus IS250 I did. You guys probably remember seeing that. Anyway, like it, I think I did have to spray inside the door jam and I'm just like, man, I'll mask it swinging, spray inside there at the same time. Um, and yeah, it's like, so that's the other ex extreme. It's like, man, you're gonna like quit your job <laughs> on principle because you're not gonna, or maybe you're just not capable. I can't, I can't help but wonder if that's it. Like maybe you're just not capable of masking a door to swing. You know what I mean? But. Yeah, I don't know. I guess as we grow up and, and age, we should mature a little bit. There's a the little cut through. They, um, they really don't put much paint on these cars. I tell you what, it's just ultra skinny coat. This is a brand new Citroen C4. Um, you can see it doesn't even have number plates on it yet. But anyway, let's keep moving on with this job. One thing I always do these days is wear my respirator when I'm prep soling. So yeah, that's one thing that I recommend and that's a relatively new thing. I've mentioned it a few times, but I do highly recommend if whenever you're dealing with any chemicals, really, I guess the strong ones, just, yeah, wear the correct PPE. Breathing apparatus, 
Gloves, you say I'm wearing gloves. That's not a coincidence. And um, got my bodysuit on, all of that, you know. And even when I'm out there in the workshop, I've literally, well, pretty much, always got my half mask respirator around my neck. And if somebody next to me might be priming, bang, over the neck it goes, because I don't want to breathe those fumes in. Um, if somebody even next to me is prep solving, bang on with the respirator. So, yeah, I've mentioned it before, but it was actually getting to the point where I was getting like a burning sensation in my nose from this prep sauce. But yeah, as I say, I highly recommend taking your health and safety seriously. Um, but ultimately, it's your own responsibility. <laughs> so, I am going to be using a bit of base coat blender here. Um, that's just transparent base coat there. I'll be putting that down first, but first we're going to give it a quick tack around. But as you can see, like that looks, that's nice and neat and clean. The masking's nice and tight. The, um, the panels look nice and clean. I just saw a little bit of masking there, we might improve. So yeah, this is going to be my last job for the week. My boss was actually surprised that I even was going to get this painted today. I, um, because I did all the repairs on this one myself, but I used the UV cured body filler and UV primer on it. So that really does speed up the procedure. I've been loving this air blower, Trevor. Really good high powered air blower. Spray Gun Direct sent this one out. As I always say, if you want to support the show, support my sponsors, I guess. Spray Gun Direct, they're awesome. If you got any paint related materials or tools you want, go have a look at the link in the description. But the best way, go and buy some Gunland merch. Bracelets, hats, coolers, t-shirts, hoodies. Anyway, let's get some of that base coat blender down. So, yeah, it's funny, PPG actually don't even say to use this stuff. Um, I do though. Probably good. didn't really need it on a dark metallic like this, but I still reckon it's good to, good to use. You don't want to go too heavy with it. I've noticed sometimes it can actually slightly change the colour. But yeah, it just fills in the sanding scratches so the metallic um, lays down nice and evenly. And this gun here, I swear mate, it is the best mini gun I've got. Best mini gun ever made. I said to myself when this one was new that I'm not going to be overly precious with it. You know, I'm not just going to not use it on whatever job it may be. Um, I'm just going to use it whenever I need it. Whenever I need a mini gun, I'm going to use it. And I'll tell you what, mate, it is just a nice soft sound on it. I don't know the, how to explain it, but it's definitely unique. Keeps the colour nice and contained. So S1 is the air cap and I've got a 1mm on there. So you get this in a 1.1 and a 1.2. And from memory it actually came with both of the fluid kits. So I use that minigun just to keep the colour nice and tight. I don't know what gun I'm going to use to clear yet. I'm even thinking I might use the, the loaded. I'm probably going to have to slow down. No, I'm joking. I never slow down.
I'll find something else to do after this, but as you can see, there's pretty much an empty shop out there. Is that enjoyable for you guys? Are you having fun watching paint dry? I'm having fun. I look like I've got my colour pretty good. But the mix of the machine was not great. I had to do like five changes to it. It's still a little bit transparent. I can still see through there a little bit. So, as I've always said, my rule of thumb is. Um, Get it covered and then put another coat on, so on this job here we're going to be putting four coats on. That's my third coat right there. We'll put one more on because that looks a bit covered. And that was a tiny, I reckon that's probably all we're going to need there. That's about us. Tiny little cut through there. Um, get that air blower again. I'm going to put more reducer in this one than usual because um, yeah, the, the finish on this was really, really tight and kind of peely but in its own tight peel way. Not like most European vehicles anyway. And when I was marking the car up, there was like a big chunk of dirt there too. Which is unusual for factory. They've usually got better quality control than that from factory. I was a little bit surprised to see that, I must admit. Um, but yeah, man, look at the DV1, mate. She's ripping it up. So we'll drop that pressure down. So what's that? And was that two bars? Now it's uh, one and a half. What's that? A little bit of something, man. Yeah, they're really good at keeping that colour contained, but you still need to use a bit of the, the room to blend the colour or else you'll just see like, you get that out in the sun, if you don't blend it properly, you'll just see like a big circle. But that's one thing you do have to be careful with blending with the minigun, so you kind of, you do need to step it out a bit, but yeah, awesome. But little things like that, if you were using your full-size gun, you'd probably have some overspray down there. So yeah, I think I might even, this might be one of the guns that I take home when I need to do spot repairs and things like that. Anyway, we'll see you here when we're ready to clear. Ready for clear, so I went with the uh, ProLite TE21.3. I've actually got the fluid round in one turn. And I put more thinners in it than usual too. was not any better and I still did his method but that's, that's beside the point he asked me how I paint the side of a car and if I walk it I'm like nah, nah he's like oh you should be and he's like telling me where I should be looking and I'm like nah, nah oh, man I don't know about that like I've tried it before and you're just like your hands bobbing up and down and you're, 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 you're tripping over your air line and you're, what are you, you know what I mean like no, nah, it's, it's uncoordinated if you do that, and you've got, you know, a good reason or whatever, you tell me in the comments, but I never seem to get anything heavy build up here. And I just like to do it panel by panel. And it, it's, look, it's worked for me my entire career, so, as I say, it's not like I haven't tried it, but I just don't see any advantage personally out of it. I guess maybe if you're doing a candy respray, but apart from that, I'd try to avoid it, you know? Anyway, 
I'm gonna give that five to ten minutes. I'm gonna go out and clean the base coat gun and put that second coat on soon. So yeah, let's put that last coat of clear on. This is looking like a nice, clean job. So I like this kind of work, but like small repairs, small to medium sized repairs, you know. Nice new car. You don't have all these stone chips to, to fix. Nice, neat, clean paint job, man. That will probably go out the door without even being bust. I wouldn't be surprised. As I said before, there was a little repair down there looking nice. I did the repair all myself. Mate, you made your day's, your day's pay on that one job. The other two um, are crazy for the pot. Edition GTI Pro Light CE20 1.3 One turn in on the fluid Two bar Nice and tight finish there I went uh, 3 to 1 to 1 with the reducer this time Because that's the kind of finish that I wanted out of it There we go The colour blended out nice I did have to match it, as I think I mentioned before But you can barely see any blend there Anyway, I'm not far off going home and finishing off that garage of mine Oh sorry, the little garden shed I've got to do that, put that thing together tonight in my new house Anyway guys, I hope you have a great weekend I hope you've all been well and until next time, get out there and paint some shit coming out.